This is crazy. PlayStation cutting corners big time, all right? So with this system, this is the newer version of it, the PlayStation 5s. You know, they're gonna keep doing different models of it, but if we know over here, one capacitor, right? We know this is the same right here. Usually you get about 1.3 to 1.4 volts right here for the RAM. I think that's what it is. Who really knows because we don't have schematics. And then you got over here, we got our 12 volts. Our 12 volt rails, which operate on the other side of the board. Now, if we look at this chip, this is the same. They kept this the same. They kept this stuff the same right here. But they changed the layout of this supplying the voltage to the RAM. That's what I'm thinking it is. I'm not an engineer, just a technician. I don't know. I don't have a schematic for this. But this is my guesses. But one capacitor here. We go to my actual schematic that I created on the first versions. And you can see that we have four capacitors there by that chip. Which is kind of crazy. That's PlayStation cutting corners. Why are they cutting corners? Maybe they know that they have a faulty system going on right now. I'm manufacturing these boards because of the capacitors. The capacitors are really crappy. And one capacitor will knock out this whole board from booting, unfortunately. And I've seen it many times, and it's a default. It's a defect in Sony. And they probably know about it. That's why they're cutting down on the capacitors. Let's try to use less capacitors. Who knows? Tell me what your thoughts are below. I would like to know. Leave a comment below. Also, if you guys get a chance, get, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching.